Hey guys, good morning. Today I am going to be powering down this morning and getting a whole bunch of cleaning done. Most of you guys know my situation. We are in a renovation zone. So this video is like a disaster zone cleaning with me. If you guys don't already know me, my name is Amanda and this is my channel, Amanda's Daily Dish. I'm so happy to have you guys stop by and watch this video. If you aren't already subscribed, please do so down below. Hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and you can also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post something. Now I'm gonna get downstairs and get started right to it because I have up until, what time? I think about 12.30 before we gotta hit the road and get the boys into town. We do homeschool so you guys might see my boys doing their schoolwork because I got them started this morning, they're doing their work and I'm gonna go start in the kitchen because that's where the mess that I want cleaned up is. <laughs> so I'm gonna get started in there first and then I don't know where I'm gonna go next but I'm gonna see where that takes me. So I'm gonna head down there right now. Didn't clean up last night, kind of on purpose because I knew I wanted to do a cleaning video this morning. Don't mind that cabinet over there. <laughs> um, when we pulled it, like I don't know what happened, the screw came loose so we just yeah. gotta fix that. <clears throat> but anyways, um, I kind of left it so that I could do yeah. this cleaning video. Um, the boys are busy over there doing their schoolwork. Also, the living room, don't mind that disaster because there's bins there that aren't unpacked yet and stuff. And we still have to paint there and do the trim and stuff like that. So the kitchen is coming along. We got the flooring done in here. And we still have to do the kick plates. So you guys will notice there's no kick plates in the bottom of the cabinets. I still have to wash some of the cabinets. Some of them are quite yucky and dirty from spillages and stuff. Um, these countertops are gonna be replaced. So these are in for now, but we will be um, putting new ones in. We're just waiting for the quote to come in. Also, we ended up putting up this lighting the other day. I find that the light is kind of bright. So um, I think we're gonna switch it because this is the pack that I bought. Oh, great, more mess to clean. Anyways, this is a pack that I bought. Um, it's the daylight LED. I find that it's a little bit too bright. Um, so I'm gonna get the uh, regular lights. I think they're still LED, but they're the warmer, warmer white. So I'm gonna see if that looks any better. Um, let's see, what else did I wanna tell you guys about? Oh yes, we're gonna also be putting in a new kitchen sink and a tap. But anyhow, I'm gonna get started with this mess because we gotta get going. All right, first things first, I'm going to switch out the garbage can because we have a full trash bag there and I'm just putting a new one in here. I'm also gonna make sure I have a full cup of tea. I just love this mug. I got it from Disneyland a few years ago. It is just so cute and it has so many Disney characters on it. All right, I'm gonna start working away on the dishes here. You guys will notice this sink has two, I guess you'd call it basins in it. I really don't like that. I really prefer the one big basin like I had in my other kitchen. So we're gonna switch out this sink for a sink with just one big basin because that is just much better, I find anyways. So I'm noticing that these dishes are actually dirty I thought they were clean so I was going to unload and load the dishwasher but it looks like I'm just going to have to load up a few more dishes and get that dishwasher started and then I'm also going to wash the rest of these dishes by hand because I just want to get started with my day without any dishes in the sink so I'm just going to get that all done and put away. If you guys are new to my channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. I would really, really appreciate it, you guys. My, one of my life goals is to reach that 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I don't know if I'll ever make it there, but I sure am going to try.
You guys might notice the dish soap that I'm using is in that clear glass pump. Now that dish soap is from the Grove Collaborative and it is the lavender and thyme scented dish soap. This is my favorite dish soap of all time. It smells so, so nice. It's just one of my favorites. And I do have a link down below in my description box where you can head to the Grove Collaborative and you can redeem your free gift with a $20 purchase. So this area over here is going to be my hot drink station. I have all of my mugs and travel mugs in the shelf here and now I'm just going to be organizing all of my drink supplies and stuff like that in the next couple of days. Here's a little tidbit of non, like non-important information. You guys see the house that is outside the kitchen window here. That house has the most amazing landscaping on their lakefront. Actually, not just the lakefront, like the whole yard. Uh, I wish I could show you guys, but I really don't want to go around filming these um, these people's yards. So maybe one day, if I have a chance, I'll get like a little sneak peek of it for you guys. But. Um, Wow, they really, really did a good job on their, on their property. So just a little bit more on the renovations that we are doing to this place. Um, we do plan on changing out the countertops, the kitchen sink, and the kitchen faucet. Um, we are going to be changing the lighting down in the eating area. I, you guys can't really see it too much in this video, but it's like just beyond the screen where you can't see right now. And then further down there, there's the fireplace and the family room area. This is all going to be painted. Right now it's like a really light green, but we're gonna be painting that so it's not gonna stay this color. So one of the kitchen cabinets, um, the screw came loose from the face of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fix that. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I got that all fixed. So the cabinet doesn't look like it is falling apart. All right, so here I'm just putting away the dishes that I had drying on my drying mat. 
Now this drying mat I picked up from Hobby Lobby and it was thanks to you guys because many of you guys kept saying why don't you just get a drying mat because I would just lay down a towel or um, a really big dishcloth but that was kind of getting to be a pain because it just didn't really work as well. Now the drying mat works fantastic so thank you guys for that tip. I feel like these dishes are never ending this morning, but I'm going to keep going because I don't want any dishes left when I'm done with this kitchen. Here I'm just going to put away the leftover bacon. I can use this bacon and chop it up and put it like in Caesar salad or in some other recipes or something like that. So I'm just going to put that in a little baggie and keep it in the fridge. The boys have been hard at work finishing their schoolwork and they're working up an appetite so I'm just going to cut up some fruit here and set it out for them. The stove top really needs to be cleaned so I'm just going to remove the grills here and I'm spraying down the backsplash and I'm just going to wipe that down because I can see some grease splattered on there and then I'm just going to clean all around in the I guess you'd call it the glass area I'm not quite sure it's like that ceramic stuff so I'm just gonna get that all cleaned up I'm using just a little razor blade to um, scrape off any food residue and then I'm still gonna pick up that cleaner that really shines this stuff up but for now I'm just gonna use this cleaner it works just fine down to the last few pots and pans thank god i feel like this has been never ending for the dishes but um, there's only a few left so i'm going to make sure i get those done
is my favorite part of cleaning the kitchen. I'm just going to clear off the countertops and then I'm going to spray them down with my cleaner and wipe them down, make them all clean so that there's no crumbs or sticky stuff all over the countertops. So the cleaner I am using in the kitchen today is my Thieves Cleaner by Young Living. I do like to use this cleaner because it is all natural, but you guys know I do like to switch up my cleaner sometimes. When I get sick of one, I like to start using another one. So this is one of my favorites. I do get it from Young Living and I do have a link down below in my description box where you can head to their website and check out their starter kit and many of their other products. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a break from cleaning the kitchen because Chandon needs some help with his hockey stick. He is learning to tape it and he's putting some grip tape on it and it got a little bit tangled there so I'm just going to give him a quick little hand here. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with vacuuming the kitchen floors. As you guys know, um, we did get the vinyl plank flooring. So far, so good. It is really durable and I like it. It doesn't scratch very easily. We also have to put in the baseboards in the kitchen, but we are waiting to put those in until the kitchen walls and the family room walls are painted. So that is um, something we have to do next. And then the other thing that I want to get done ASAP is put in the kick plates under the kitchen cabinets. Um, they didn't have any of the clips in stock at Home Depot, the ones that we need to help install those kick plates. So I guess we have to figure something else out or wait until those kick plate um, clip, clips are in stock. So that is up next for the kitchen. If you guys watched my previous video, you will know that I discussed what our plan is over the next couple of years. So we did sell our previous house and we moved into this house. Our plan is to renovate this house and hopefully have it done by April. And then once April hits, we are hoping to put this one up for sale. And then once this one is sold, we have our eye on a property and we do want to build a new house again on that property so we have a lot going on but again um, we do need a lot of things to fall into place in order to get these things done so we don't know it may be a little bit longer than we anticipated it could be shorter than we thought we're just going to go with the flow but um, for now we are just going to make sure that this place gets renovated and ready for sale as soon as possible I feel like we are living in a real life episode of Fixer Upper, except we actually are the homeowners that live in the house. So it has been really chaotic lately, a lot going on, but the end result over the next couple of years should be exactly where we want to be. All right, so the kitchen floors here, I am using some hot water and my Keldrea all-purpose cleaner. I just put in a little splash of that into this bucket of hot water. Again, I got that stuff from the Grove Collaborative. The link is down below in the description box if you are interested in that stuff as well.
Okay guys, so it is now approaching lunchtime. The kitchen is clean, so I can go on with the rest of my day knowing that I'm coming home to a clean kitchen, thank goodness, because I hate having to come back and have more stuff to deal with. But I'm gonna head to hockey practice now. So this is multitasking at its finest. I've got Emmett on the ice here practicing. And while he is doing that, I am just doing some menu planning and making a grocery list. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Here, can you hold that? I can't write it simple. Okay, so we've done how many hockey practices? Three hockey practices now, and we are just about to head to the fourth one, but we got some uh, pumpkin spice lattes first. So we are just heading to the rink right now. It's been a long day. I still don't know what we're gonna do for dinner because I was not super prepared today. Um, I did a grocery list and um, a menu plan for the week. So I think I'll finish that up when I get home, but it is now eight o'clock, so I probably won't get home for a bit. I better roll out my window. But yeah, so we're just gonna head to the rink and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so practice is over and I made a quick stop to the grocery store to pick up the items that I need to make what's on my menu plan over the next couple of days. I'm home from practice now and I'm going to be getting this chili into a crock pot before I head to bed. Tomorrow's a really busy day for us so I thought this would be a good idea to do tonight. So first things first, I'm going to dice up my green pepper and my onion. I'm going to leave my onion chunks really big because the kids like to be able to pick them out because they really don't like onions, but I do. So I'm just going to leave them, like I said, big so that they can pick those out. I just wanted to point out my shirt to you guys. It says, say yes to new adventures, which is what I feel like we've been doing a lot lately. We've got a lot of new adventures going on in our lives. Um, I got this shirt from Thread Tank. I got this one and a couple of other really cute shirts. So if you guys are wanting to check out their shirts, which I recommend you do because they're really cute and comfortable, go ahead down below my description box and you guys will see the link to head to Thread Tank. Here I'm just going to get started with sauteing my ground beef. I guess, I don't even know if you'd call it sauteing. Maybe it's just called cooking your ground beef. But anyways, I'm going to um, cook this ground beef until it is all brown. And then um, once it's brown, I'll show you guys what I like to do with it. So here I'm just going to drain out the excess fat. Nobody wants that excess fat garbage going into your arteries so I like to make sure I take out all of the excess fat that I possibly can. Alright so here is where I will show you guys my little trick. I put all the ground beef into the pot here and then I use my pastry masher and then I go in and I mash it up. I really like to have it fine. I don't really like the ground beef chunky, so that's my little tip. If you like it chunky, obviously you're not gonna do this. Okay, so now in that same pan, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my vegetables. I put in the green pepper and the onion, and then I will put in my garlic last because I don't want the little pieces of garlic to burn. So here is where I'm going to add all of my cans. I'm just opening up a can of crushed tomatoes, so, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. Now I'm putting in a can of diced tomatoes. 
Now both of those cans were the large size cans, not the small size cans. I guess it just depends how tomatoey you want your chili. Now I'm also putting in two smaller size cans of um, the kidney beans, the dark red kidney beans. I'm just going to drain out the excess fluid and then dump that into the pot as well. Now this is my little secret. I like to use brown sugar beans. I'm sure other people use it so maybe it's not really a secret but um, it just gives it that little hint of like sweet smokiness and I'm also going to add a can of tomato paste here. Now I'm going to add my sautéed vegetables and get that all into the pot and mix it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a can of Campbell's tomato soup. If you guys are the same as me, you don't really use a recipe and you just kind of go, go with the flow. So that's what I'm doing today. I just added two cups of water as well into there. So I'm just going to cover this up right now. I haven't added my spices yet because I have to dig out my chili. I don't know where in the world I put it. I'm also just going to be rinsing out the cans here and getting them ready for recycling. Now I'm just going to be putting away the dirty dishes because I want to make sure everything is put away before we head to bed. I'm also just going to wipe down the area where I was cooking here. I'm also going to be cleaning the stove top because I just cleaned that earlier today and I am kind of annoyed that I made a mess again, but that's okay. I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe to make sure it is nice and tidy. Pay no attention to the time on the clock. It's definitely not 3.13 a.m., but I am going to head to bed now because I have a busy day tomorrow and I will be adding my spices in the morning. Okay guys, so it is now the morning. The chili has been cooking all night. I'm going to add the chili spices now and I don't usually do this, but I'm going to add the chili spice packets. So I added this, but just so you guys know, obviously I'm doing this voiceover after I recorded the video, so I have already tasted the chili. Um, it did end up being just a hint too spicy so if you have kids who don't like spice in their food you might want to just add your own spices so you can control the amount of heat that you add to your chili. Alright guys so that brings us to the end of my video. I hope you guys found a ton of motivation for your days in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!